I'm going to offer something that is truly counterintuitive. Transformative change does not come from the extremes. It comes up the middle. Because what makes it transformative is not that it happens for a moment, but that it endures. That it's around five and ten years later after the political pendulum swings. And frankly, the last major piece of environmental legislation, I would argue, is the 1990 Clean Air Act. And I'd like to test the students at Yale uh, on what they think the final vote in the United States Senate was on the 1990 Clean Air Act. But the, the answer, and Just I won't... Just to clarify, this is jo the first President Bush in the White House. First President Bush in the White House. You know, so we have a Democratic Congress. President is Republican. We are coming together on a bipartisan basis. And, you know, the, the B students at Yale, who have never experienced anything other than political division of the deepest sort, are sure that it was 51-49. The A students say, oh, no, no, it takes 60 votes to clear the, uh, the threat of filibuster in the Senate. It was probably 60-40. The answer was 89 to 11. And it, it was a moment where, by the way, and having been there working on this issue, uh, again, with a broad team, we lost equal numbers, six and seven, or, or five and six off Democratic and Republican side. So it was truly bipartisan. And what that meant was that as we began to roll it out and implement it, and by the way, it's still being implemented. It's not fully done. Um, but over the next decade, both Republicans and Democrats came together. To